Welcome to Silver Bar Stacker, folks. I hope everybody's doing well and enjoying their Sunday. That's right, folks. Today is Sunday, and we've got an extra hour of sleep today. And that was really, really unexpectedly awesome. So I hope you guys and gals enjoy that extra hour here if you're living in America. If you're living overseas, then you probably are just thinking, why are we so crazy over here? Well, Mind your own business. How about, yeah, let's just mind your own business. And so uh, today we've got a very exciting topic. Today I'm actually going to spend some time talking to you about why you may want to consider buying some of your precious metals on the silverbarstacker.com website, right? I mean, a lot of people maybe look at the website and scoff at the prices they may say oh it's so expensive right and so maybe because we have a specialization we specific on higher premium things and so naturally the things would be a little bit higher premium and a little bit more expensive and so i wanted to just talk a little bit about the sbs store how it maybe differs from your typical bullion store and maybe why that might be the case what are some of the benefits possibly of shopping on the silverbarstacker.com website and most of all how are some of the ways that you could be kind of a savvy stack or a savvy shopper when you're shopping specifically on the silver bar stacker website or really any bullion store right when you are buying something it is very very important for you to be a savvy stacker i've said that term before a savvy stacker i've said that term many times on the channel before and there's a reason that i say that it's because it's very important to be a savvy stacker i would say that the most successful stackers are the savviest stackers right and especially when you are a stacker who is stacking for weight which uh, honestly like most individuals who are stacking are generally for the most part stacking for weight i mean that's generally how most people at least start out that's certainly how I started out. I certainly started out with the mindset that, hey, I'm going to be stacking as many, you know, ounces for as cheap as possible. And that is my goal, right? And so I was set out for that and I, I immediately researched the market and I thought to myself, okay, well, 100 ounce bars, that seems to always be the lowest premium if you're thinking about a per ounce basis. And, you know, for a lot of people, 100 ounce bar might not be very tangible. Um, <clears throat> But if you're actually looking at the per ounce basis, buying an ounce of gold, buying a 100 ounce bar, these are the kind of the cheapest ways to buy if you're thinking about it from a buying for weight perspective, right? So it's a very easy way to buy something. You look at the premium, right? It's a very simple way to look at things, right? If you're just thinking about the silver weight, and I would say that a vast majority of stackers look at it that way and still look at it that way even people who are super into collecting like random stuff if you might have a lot of those collectors out there right they have their collector quirks they're like oh i only like the geiger stuff oh i only like the libertads oh i only like the slabbed libertads i only like copper i stack nothing but copper no 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 i like all the J jm and Engelhards, right so people there's collectors out there but deep down somewhere inside there there's a stacker as well they're doing this for a reason, right? They're not just obsessively going out and collecting everything in the world. Some people do take that very far, but ultimately the, the goal, the way, reason they kind of set out doing this in the first place was because they're trying to stack weight, right? Okay, so stackers mentality is generally speaking, even as a collector, they're generally trying to stack weight, right? They're trying to preserve value, right? Once you kind of understand the purpose of stacking precious metals, then you're like, okay, I'm trying to preserve that value. I'm trying to stack weight right i'm trying to preserve weight weight preserve value preserve value in the form of weight right it's very easy to look at it that way now we talked about how a stacker's mentality is let's talk about a bullion store's mentality now a typical bullion store 
I'm, it doesn't matter what kind of bullion store you're talking about. I'm not, it doesn't matter if you're talking about your local coin shop. It doesn't matter if you're talking about one of those big online stores like Atmex, right? Or SD Bullion or Money Metals or any of those big, you know, sites that you might go and buy your bullion from. All of these typical bullion stores, SBS not included, all these typical bullion stores, local coin shops, jewelry stores, things like that, they all, I'm not going to put them all under the same blanket, but I'm going to say that for the most part, most of these shops are not specialized. Okay? What, what do I mean by specialized? I mean that they are not saying, hey, uh, we are going to always have Johnson Matthews products available and Engelhardt products available and Mexican Libra Tots available and American Silver Eagles available and uh, that's it, you know. <clears throat> Some stores are able to actually do that. So some of these humongous stores, for example, uh, these some of these big online bullion stores that I just mentioned, they are big in the game. They push huge amounts of volume. They have many, many offerings, but they do not have all the offerings, right? They have everything come through their door at a very, very high volume, and it's very much a lot to process, right? And so when they look at the amount of weight that's coming in through buybacks and however else they source their, you know, probably millions or, you know, however many dollars worth of inventory that they're managing and turning over on a daily basis, that's a lot to go through. That's a lot to sift through. It At that point, you cannot specialize in anything. You literally have to look at bullion as weight, and they do. And when they buy back, they give you, you know, they'll give you a competitive price, They'll try to give you a competitive price because they know that they have all these other stores also competing for buybacks because those people also want to buy in the markup. However, ultimately, when it comes at least to their buying, not when it comes to their selling, but when it comes to their buying, they look at it like, okay, I'm buying this bullion at bullion weight. I don't care if this is the rarest single hard bar in existence. I don't care if it's a 100 minted impact single hard bar. I do not care. I'm, I'm going to buy it buy back at a wrong spot. Okay, so that's how a traditional bullion store operates when they're buying stuff back. When it comes down to selling it, that, that differs. You know, some, some local coin shops, for example, let's look at a smaller local coin shop. A lot of times you can, a lot of times you can get nice deals on the um, higher premium vintage. If you kind of know what you're looking for and you find something that's a little bit more valuable, not because of the weight, but because of, you know, maybe the design or the historical aspect of it, well... You, that's a great place. I see YouTubers do it all the time. I've done it myself very recently. You go to a local coin shop. You look in their junk bin. You, if they don't have a junk bin, you just look at what they might have in their case or what they have for their offerings. And a lot of times you might find something like a Engelhart Prospect around in there. And they, they might offer that to you for a very competitive price, maybe like 27 bucks, 28 bucks, And you might be like, heck yeah. I mean, you should be like, heck yeah, and grab it. Maybe you might find a Johnson Matthew bar like that for like 27, 28 bucks. Now, now that doesn't happen very frequently. I, that's like the cheapest I've ever been able to buy any of these. But when I'm buying even wholesale for the store, I bought monster boxes of prospectors one time and I still paid 28 bucks an ounce. Okay. And then after that, I have my markup, right? So for example, right now on the store, this month we have a promotion on prospect rounds. Now, if you get a random design prospect round, you don't know which year you're gonna get. If you get anything between an 82 to an 87, random design is gonna be 35 bucks. Pretty much all this month, that's what's gonna be the price. That's a pretty good price, right? I mean, you might find that price on eBay here and there, and you might find a good, you know, around that price. But then you have to factor in that on the Silver Bar Stacker website, we've got additional perks. Like, so for example, I've got. A subscription program now subscriptions don't really make sense unless you make use of subscriptions right if you have a Netflix subscription and you're never using it you're wasting your money every month on that subscription now if you are using it a lot and instead of you know you're super into watching movies and stuff and instead of going to blockbuster and renting movies you are making use of your Netflix subscription then maybe it's worth the five ten bucks a month or whatever it costs right now the SBS subscription, very few people would this apply to, right? Because it's not like we have a huge traffic of um, 
Sometimes customers, right? If you are an Atmex, for example, a lot of people shop there. I myself shop there. I source stuff there for some, uh, very occasionally for the store even. So on Atmex, if they had some sort of monthly subscription, if I was actually buying regularly on there, dang, I might even consider that. <laughs> Depending on what the perks are, right? If they were saying, hey, I'll give you 15% off of everything that you buy, and all you have to do is pay 15 bucks, I might be like, oh, sweet, I could just spend 100 bucks and then make my money back every month. <laughs> Usually I spend more than 100 bucks at a time, especially, uh, you know, uh, over here in California, you want to spend more to save on the uh, Uncle Sam's cut. You know, you don't want to fork over anything over there. So because of that, you know, a perk like that might actually be in my benefit. Now, if I was using that and I was actually saving more than 15 bucks that I'm spending, then that's totally worth it, right? Now, we have a, such a similar sort of subscription plan on this Silver Bar Stacker website. And so a lot of times people might look at, you know, a bar like this, for example, right? This one we have on the website right now for about 390 bucks. And so somebody might look at that and they might say, geez, that's a high premium bar. I could just go get a nice press bar, or heck, I could even get a nice generic cast pour bar probably for near spot or a few dollars above spot if I just go on to one of those major online stores. Yeah, you probably could. You're probably not going to get a vintage bar, right? Probably gonna, not going to get a nice pour bar like this. <clears throat> on the SBS website, for example, if you go on to the SBS exclusive section, what I'm trying to do with the SBS exclusive section is that's basically trying to be a section where we have one-of-kind items, kind of like what you see is what you get, right? So if you, if I was selling this particular bar, which I am, on the website for $3.90, you know, you look at this bar and this is what you get, right? Or you might have something that's, for example, you know, a graded lever tie, or you might have something in the original factory seal, or you might have something that are sequential serial numbers, or you might have something like a full prospector year set, right? So we've got all the dated prospectors, Englehart prospector rounds, for example, all seven of them in one full set and that is in our SBS exclusive section. You can get all the 1985 fractional prospector rounds by Engelhard. Four different rounds, very low mintage. That comes as a set. That's in the SBS exclusive section. So that's something that kind of makes the SBS website a little bit unique in comparison to, let's say, any of the other major online bullion stores. They don't exactly specialize in obsessing over creating sets that collectors obsess over creating, right? I like having those sets available. So we've got dozens of full pro full year prospector sets available. If somebody wanted to get, you know, five sets for themselves, they could literally go on the website and probably do that right now, right? And if not, they could just message me and I'd be like, yeah, I can, I can increase the in stocks on those so that you can grab all five sets. So that's not something that you would be able to do. Like you couldn't go onto any really store right now and get a 1983 prospector round. Maybe you could, but not regularly. You could go onto the uh, SBS website and always get an Englehard bar, always get a prospect around, always get a 1983 prospect around, always get a 1982 prospect around. There's always all of those available. And then we also have other cool stuff available too that's always making their way into the SBS exclusive section. You know, I might come across a nice set of bars that I'm like, oh, maybe I'll make a nice set of these because these are all the same bars. You know, one is a five ounce, one is a three ounce. So this is a, also a three ounce, but I think I might even have a two ounce somewhere in here as well. Yeah. So like, that's a pretty cool set. I might even have a fractional for the Argor S.A. Chiasso bars. So things like that, I might make a cool set. I think I have this Korean hollowed out bar. It's 1.35 ounces blue enamel this is on the website too this is quite high premium so this you might look at and you might be like okay uh this is like freaking a hundred dollars an ounce or something well it's a pretty dang unique piece i don't really think i've ever seen one of these before i think it's a pretty dang unique piece and so that's why the premium is quite high on this i don't expect it to sell anytime soon but it is a very cool and unique piece so things like that you might not see anything like this on any website really because it's a unique piece. I, I seek out unique things for the website. Now this bar right here, you might look at it and you might be like a $3.90. Yeah, it's a decent premium, but still kind of high, right? For, you know, 
still kind of high. Well, if you had a monthly subscription, you could probably bring that down to like 350 or lower or something like that because you're getting 15% off. You know, you get if you're if you're a monthly gold tier subscriber, what back in the day, our first gold tier subscriber, by the way, early bird gets the worm because our first gold tier subscriber that man, they got grandfathered in at $15 a month and they get awesome perks. If you go into the pricing and plans section of the silverbarstacker.com website, you'll see that there is a a a copper tier a silver tier and a gold tier and the gold tier i would say has been the most popular and what happens is every time somebody joins the gold tier the price goes up right and that individual gets grandfathered into the price of the gold tier right so we've got a couple gold tier subscribers right now they're very very savvy stackers they get two coupon codes for 15 percent off their entire purchase on the silver bar stacker website plus a couple other perks as well and they make use of those perks right you get 15 percent off of your thousand dollar purchase that's a hundred and fifty dollars off and if you're only paying 15 30 bucks or whatever for your monthly subscription that's a pretty good deal especially do if you do that every single month and you're kind of smartly shopping the deals that we have going we have weekly recurring deals that happen okay and then we also have monthly promotions like right now i'm going to go through all the different monthly promotions that we have going on so <clears throat> If you're stacking savvily and then saving an extra 15% off on top of that, then you can save some big money. You can lower your cost average and really stack very smartly is, is what I got to say. So those types of plans are something to consider. Now, the gold tier subscriptions are kind of high now because we have already got some gold tier subscribers. And because of that, the price is kind of in a tiered, it goes up in a tiered way, right? So because of that, now the gold tier subscription I don't know how much it costs. Uh, I think it's up to like 50 bucks a month or something like that, something like that. So it's pretty expensive, right? But we still have the copper tier and the silver um, tier that are available. And those are pretty reasonable priced. I think those are only like 10, 20 bucks a month. So, you know, those, the incentives will be a little bit less. Like the copper tier, you get 5% off your entire purchase. The silver bar, I mean, the silver tier, you get 10% off of your entire purchase. But you kind of look at what those incentives are, see if it makes sense for you. And if you think that, you know, the subscription is going to be worth your money and you're going to get something out of it, then then that then that's when you should consider it. And especially what I always tell people, at least on the on the website on this SBS website is like if you're not spending more than a hundred bucks your subscription is not worth you shouldn't be a subscriber because you're not gonna get your money's worth out of it you really start to see the benefits when you start spending a little bit more than a hundred a month I would say because then once you if you calculate it that's when you really start to see that your dollar amount saved kind of outweighs the amount spent on that subscription every month <clears throat> So the monthly subscription is something that makes the Silver Bar Stacker website unique, okay? The fact that we have the SBS exclusives section on the website makes the Silver Bar Stacker website unique. And I would say that the main thing that makes us unique in comparison to any typical local coin shop or any online big bullion store or small bullion store is that all of those stores that I mentioned, they do not really specialize in anything they specialize their specialization is to specialize in being a stacker that stacks weight and offering that to individuals they and and that's probably the right mindset perhaps especially if you're a big store like a walmart-esque store who has lots of deep pockets then it's good perhaps to operate that way you your general populace of stackers are wanting to get silver at the cheapest price possible and generally they don't care what the design is of course they would like a nice you know design and and an, a nice product but ultimately they care about weight right and they care about price so if that's what the general populace of customers want and you're trying to make as much money as possible you're trying to push as much volume as possible well you're competing a bunch of other people who are doing the same okay you're gonna have to offer a very very good price to your customers okay and if you're offering a very good price, you're going to make uh, slimmer margins, right? Like a big stores make maybe slimmer margins. And um, they have to turn over a very, very high volume. Now, here at SBS, we do not turn over very high volume. We sell quite a bit, you know. Sell a few dozen packages every... Ship out a few dozen packages probably every week or so. But um, I would not say that we are extremely high volume. We're very, very specialized in the sense that when we buy things and when we restock things, we don't just simply 
blindly buy everything under the sun and treat it all the same and buy it under weight. We pay up for the pieces that we want, especially if it's an item on our store. We pay up a big premium for it sometimes uh, because we like to run a nice clean store. We like to have everything that we specialize in available at all times. We don't like to sometimes one week have Engel Hard Bars available and then not have them for 17 weeks like my LCS, right? We don't like to have the 1983 Prospectors available sometimes, but then not have them available other times. Like right now, App Max uh, has them, right? We don't like to have Engel Hard 100 ounce bars available sometimes, but then not have them available other times. Like, you know, some of these other bigger rolling on stores have right the local coin shops especially when they operate they operate in such a way that like okay whatever comes to the door where they're going to buy it they're going to offer you know a round spot and then they're going to turn around and as quickly as possible sell it around uh, a little bit a couple bucks above spot and that's their that's their thing and they are fighting the price of silver too right so a lot of these people are not experts in technical analysis so it really boggles my mind how all these big bullion stores are operating on such thin margins have no specialization is simply operating based off of the spot price and they're not even technical analysts they have no idea where the freaking price of silver is going to go up or down so it just is crazy to me that people stackers as well as bullion stores are operating on the notion they're like hey i'm going to buy and sell based off of silver weight uh, everybody should understand in my opinion no i, I mean nobody's going to agree with me i probably because nobody has the same mentality but I just don't even think about the price. I never look at the spot price. I'm not thinking about the spot price. I'm just thinking like, okay, I'm going to get a piece. Uh, it, I look at it, uh, its inherent value as this to me, right? Maybe other people look at the inherent value of s such piece some other way. I think that the, the value of this piece is this because I like it and I want to hold it. I know it's, I know what the worst case scenario is. I know I can sell this for melt to somebody who doesn't appreciate it, right? I know that. So I, I look at it like it's the worst case scenario is that this is worth the weight of the silver, right? But I like to seek out items that I personally like. I'm very, very obsessive about having an organized stack and that trickles over into having an organized store. Okay, and so I, I wouldn't say that the buying experience is clean and fun and very easy right now on the SBS website. But that's a work in progress. That's something that I'm kind of working towards improving. And the SBS, section, SBS exclusive section is something I'm really wanting to give a lot of attention to because that is a section, in my opinion, of the website that really makes the website unique. And that it's a thing that people like to come come there for. You know, they some people like the convenience of just being able to get everything at one place, right? And I try to keep my pricing as competitive as possible and I also try to incentivize individuals who support early right and so the individuals who are earlier subscribers they get better perks obviously and I like to also incentivize first-time buyers right so usually people who I when I'm marketing the business outside of the actual website outside of our social media platforms on other platforms then I like to give people a first-time coupon code and so this is usually the coupon code I give people so if you never actually bought anything on the website you could use this coupon code right here sbs site well it's sb site 2023 and that gives you 10 percent off of your entire first order click that qr code that actually sends you directly to our social media up so <clears throat> that'll give you all of our social media links so i think that these are some of the aspects that kind of make sbs unique in comparison to other bullion stores we have that sort of specialization right and that comes with the detriment right as well because because we're so specialized a lot of times you know when i'm on my whatnot au auctions for example a lot of times i'll get people kind of buyers coming in and be like, okay do you have any barber diamonds i gotta be like nope do you have any morgans nope do you have any american silver eagles nope you know any big bullion store would always have these types of things available i wouldn't say they specialize you know like SD Boolean and all these stores specialize in American Silver Eagles, but you better believe that they've got freaking monster boxes of those things always available, right? And so they do have a very, very wide selection, stores like that. Uh, and then other stores like your LCS will have a very poor selection, very poor variety, but they'll have very, very competitive pricing maybe compared to some of those online stores, right? And you might also find very many diamonds in a rough 
at an LCS, whereas on an online bullion store, maybe they have the capacity sometimes to kind of sift through some of those pieces and, and then they do jack up the price on some of those uh, higher premium pieces, right, if they're, if they're able to do so. All right, so it kind of differs, right? It differs who you're kind of buying from, but I, I would say that these are some of the benefits when you're buying from the Silver Bar Stack website. One of the main complaints I would say would be the pricing, right, of the website. And, you know, if you're going to uh, McDonald's, you're not, you know, you're not shopping the deals, you're not using coupons, or you're not going to a uh, clothing store and using coupons or shopping what's on sale, right? You're not going to the grocery store and buying what's on clearance, what's on the manager specials, and you're just paying full price for everything, well, yeah, things will be expensive, right? You got to be a little bit of a savvy stacker, right? If there's a 10% off coupon code, why would you just leave that 10% on the table? That doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. Like, if you, if you're being offered that, why, like, it makes sense to, to not use this if you weren't planning on buying anything anyways, but if you know that you have the coupon and then you go and you don't use the coupon, why would you do that, right? That's just leaving money on the table, right? So that's just all I got to say is that that's one thing to consider is like the pricing is actually based off of, you know, if, you, if you've got the, the pricing on this $390 bar is actually 350 or something like that. If you're a gold tier subscriber, or it's a little bit less than that. And then you have to, so you have to factor, you have to compare apples to apples when you're buying, right? Some, some, some places, uh, will charge you shipping, right? Some places will have a minimum order limit. So this is often an issue when you're trying to buy smaller things. Everything on the silver bar stacker website is free shipping included. The price that you see is the price that you get. All right, so there's no like hidden weird stuff going on there either. So that's just something I wanted to talk about. So let's set aside this big chunk of stuff and focus on what we got here. Something I wanted to do was I was thinking I could curate a nice little, you know, we've got a starter pack already on the website. You, you, there's a there's a listing on the website where you could go and it's called the SBS starter pack. And that basically gives you a nice little you know selection of stuff that would help you out if you were a beginner stacker but what i was thinking was i would actually put together a nice little collection <sighs> i forgot what i was going to call this i was going to call this the sbs sampler that's what i was going to call it i was going to call it the sbs sampler and this is basically going to be a nice vintage sampler and fractional sampler we got a nice sampler of the sales really that I'm promoting for this month. Okay, so there's particular products that we have an excess of. You know, some of these items actually, truthfully, we're giving them, we're selling them below our cost basis. In some cases at our cost basis and in some cases below our cost basis. And the reason is because when you're running a store, sometimes you make mistakes. Sometimes you over leverage and buy too many of one thing. Sometimes you overpay for something. Sometimes, like, like these stores that operate on spot price, what happens if you buy when the price is too high and you buy too much and now you're stuck with all that inventory do you just go out of business or something so you need to kind of like hedge i think those businesses what they do is they try their best when the price is low they try to hedge with as much they try to keep some powder dry and so they just try to hedge with as much as they can when the price is low i'm just kind of buying all the time <laughs> for better or for worse i'm buying all the time and so sometimes it bites you in the butt if you buy the wrong thing if you buy at the wrong time it also bites you in the butt but mainly it buys you it happens when you buy the wrong thing right maybe not the wrong thing but you don't expect like these copper bars just as an example i really love these copper bars very much and I bought very many of them. As a stacker, sometimes you get go a little overboard. I went a little bit overboard. I've got hundreds of these things. Okay, I've got very many of these things. I paid a pretty penny for these. I mean, the, the, when you're buying like copper, first of all, copper is not stacking. Copper is for collecting, I would say, for the most part, because the premiums, even on like those generic one ounce copper rounds and stuff, is still extremely, extremely high. Like if you look at it, a percentage at it from the perspective of a percentage premium above spot it's nonsensical okay so that's why people like salivate metal will say that copper is not really for stacking and i would tend to agree with that it is fun to collect though i would say okay and so your typical you know generic kind of copper rounds and bars and stuff i don't think those sell for more than a few bucks right and even that's kind of quite pricey 
So what I paid for these, truthfully, what I paid for these is I paid around because you actually have to fork over some uh, Uncle Sam when it comes to uh, copper just because of the way that works. But uh, I ended up paying just for these tiny little one ounce copper bars over ten dollars just over ten dollars and for these just over 13 bucks so that's my actual cost basis and my thought was that these are so so cool things you know these are such cool things i think you know i could it would be you know make nice giftables an expensive giftable but i would make a nice giftable to somebody who is a very you know good friend or maybe a very loyal customer or something and i was also thinking that this would be a very nice cheap option for you know collecting copper so I thought, you know, I could, you know, buy these at like 10, 12 bucks, uh, 10, 10, 12 bucks, and then, you know, sell them for 12, 14, 15 bucks on the site, you know, make a couple bucks on there. Hopefully, you know, they're not just buying that and they're tacking on a couple things to their order and I won't take a loss because I'm having to cover the shipping and, you know, sell just for a couple buck profit, which, you know, shipping costs more than a couple bucks. So, uh, you know, my thought was that it would just be nice have very many of these as an offering for individuals. Well, the problem is, is that I'm the only person who thinks that these are cool enough to pay 10 plus bucks for, right? Paying $10 plus for an ounce of copper is quite a lot, okay? Most people are uncomfortable with that. Even if it's just 10 bucks, people are uncomfortable with that, you know? People are, some people are very uncomfortable with fractionals. They just look at the price tag of more than $2 per gram and they're just like, holy heck, I can't do that and you know teach their own so anyways sometimes as a store owner you think that something will be desired and ultimately what ends up happening is a lot of times on my whatnot auction a lot of these copper bars have sold in the five to ten dollar range that's an obvious loss for me after especially after fees and blah 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 it's a huge loss to imagine taking a 50 50 percent loss on something the second that you buy it like like when you buy your car well that happens sometimes and sometimes you know a lot of times i see like sellers on whatnot some of these small sellers on whatnot who are running their auctions and so they might buy like a penny a slabbed penny or something they might have paid 500 dollars for this penny then now they're going and realizing that oh they bought a uh, 500 dollar penny and now they're going on whatnot trying to sell it trying to pawn it off on somebody else and trying to convince them that hey you need to buy this $500 penny because it's the steal of a lifetime you're getting at my cost well I'm sorry but sometimes your cost is not the market value right and so I struggle to honestly sell these even at around my cost basis and so my thought was like I need to just offer a very competitive price on these if I want to move any units because even though I have the most competitive price on this particular product in existence like nobody has a better price on these particular products i still kind of struggle to move them so i thought okay let me educate people about them maybe show them off a little bit and then also mark them down to a ridiculously low price so that's exactly what i've done on the website and i'm also going to include these awesome bars inside this little sampler pack that i've put together as well so items like this you know, maybe it's not what you were looking to stack, but if it happens to be something that, hey, I wanted a couple examples of that, well, then you need to look at, hey, when are people offering promotions on that? I'm offering promotions on these all the time because, quite frankly, I've got about, you know, 5 to 10% of my inventory locked up in uh, products that I'm not really um, looking at as the long-term part of my store, right? I'm not really the type of person who is going to be carrying Geiger probably for the long term. And when I do collect the Geiger, I like it's collect very specific things like i don't have any other geiger copper products other than these two right because and i like these two specifically because i like them and so that's why i have them available i don't like benjis either why do i have these two benjis why are they included in the sample and why do they have these featured on my site it's because i know that some people sometimes uh collect benjis particularly the benjis are my favorite when it comes to the half dollars and when it comes to junk silver in general so that's why i thought i'm gonna have some benjis available and i'm not gonna have all benjis available i'm only gonna have the first year benjis available so i've got the 1948 and the 1948d mint mark and you can buy these as a set and i put that in the sps exclusive section first year benjis that's pretty cool I might even put maybe a full set of Benjis in the SBS exclusive section. That's the type of stuff that you would see there, right? 
Another thing I'd like to put in the SPS exclusive section soon is going to be like we have got a full year prospector set, right? You got all seven of the prospectors, the 1982 e logo 1983 e logo which is the key date 1984 e logo reverse then you got the 1984 eagle on the back the eagle then you got the 1985 eagle which is this then the 1986 eagle then the 1987 eagle so that's seven total rounds full prospector year set that's also available at a very very freaking competitive price right now on the website so you can go and get the whole full year prospector set right now on the uh, website. Another thing I want to do is I want to put together a selection of all the different types of e-logo bars. Like there are four different types of commercial bars, right? There you got this one right here, which is your most common. 1.15 million minted big e-logo bar. Then you've got others that are different, right? Like these ones, for example, have like a shorter E centered in the globe as opposed to a bigger E and there's other ones there's EMC logo bars there's very many bars out there so I was gonna put together a nice set of all four of the different types so that if somebody wants to collect all four types of E logo bars they can just go and get those at a nice discounted price I'll also have each of the different types available they're already available actually on the website you can buy those as individuals right if you want to just buy a single bar rather than buying all four bars then you can just buy any one of those particular designs or we even have a random design e-logo bar listing so if you want to just beat the premiums that's going to be your best bet we got a random design portrait style e-logo Engelhard bar listing and that's going to be the lowest price per ounce out of all of them and so that's what we're going to have on special this entire month is going to be the random design e-logo bar listing we're also going to have prospector random random year prospectors on special right and that's also included in this sampler that we're going to be putting together so random year prospectors 35 bucks <clears throat> random year e-logo bars 40 bucks here's a nice factory sealed johnson matthew bar we'll have these running on promotion this month and you're going to get that included in the sampler as well. We'll have Sunshine Mining Vintage Rounds on special this month. And we've got actually a random year listing for Sunshine Mining Vintage Dated Rounds. That's what's actually going to be on special. <clears throat> going can include some fracks in the sampler as well. Uh, a two pack of Volcombis here. Volcombis are on, on sale right now as well. I'm gonna get a nice SBS Slim Stacker. So, this is our proprietary one gram bar. There's silver bar stacker on the front, one gram 999 fine silver. And on the back, you've got the iconic stacker logo. Here, you've got a little mini prospector, one gram mini prospector. It's not made by Engelhard, but it's a nice little frack. Right here, this is a 1982 Monex Silver Eagle. Now, the reason I like these actually is because these were actually made by ESVI Ingot Company in it originally, and then they moved production moved over to the RCM Royal Canadian Mint. So you'll see some that say, say Royal Canadian Mint or something on them. This one is uh, one of the original ones, which was produced by this company that produced the USVI Stacker. So you see back here, USBI Ingot Company. This is one of my favorite vintage bars to collect right here. So these are going to be on special as well. We'll run these for 40 this month while supplies last. And we'll run these Monex rounds for 35 as well. So we've got a lot of specials actually this month. Everything I mentioned here, everything that you see here is on special. And everything you see here is actually going to also be given together and I'm also going to throw two sequential serial one gram Geiger bars in there as well so check this out these Geiger bars are serialized in the back but these also we have the best price available I think these we sell for about seven bucks a bar 
which is a lot for a one gram bar, but the reason that's that, that's the case is because look, there's freaking serial numbers on the back there. <laughs> and there's also a black light feature here where if you raise a black light up to that, then it illuminates. So these bars, you'll get two of these in this sampler as well, sequential series. And I'll also throw a random uh, e-logo Inglehard bar in there as well. So let's take a couple of these fracks out. And then also grab a bar, right? Take one of these rounds out, just give you one prospector. And so here you have it, the SBS sampler. And what we're going to do is I'm going to have like maybe a limited number of these available and I'm going to start that at the lowest tiered pricing. And once those sell out, if those sell out, we'll move over to the next tiered pricing. And then if those sell out, then we'll move on to the last tier pricing. And so the first tier pricing for this entire group of stuff is going to be 250 bucks. So I've got a listing right now. Click the link in the description. There's no limit to how many lots of this that you can purchase if you like the this entire group of items and you're satisfied with the 250 dollars price you can do that five times over if you want to be my guest okay but as soon as we run out of however many i've allocated for the 250 dollars price those will sell out and i'll immediately restock more but the price is going to go up to 275 dollars which in my opinion is still an amazing deal right the 250 dollars price is a cr ridiculous deal because let me tell you something that's literally below my cost basis because i'm actually taking a loss that's me factoring in taking a loss on these taking a 50 percent loss on these literally i actually paid believe it or not 20 dollars for each of these i paid 40 dollars for this set of benjis many probably most people will say that's ridiculous and that's that's my cost basis that's my that's my cost basis why is that my cost basis because i'm an idiot i'm not an idiot i'm obsessive and i went and only bought only 1948 and 1948 d benjamin only those i wanted nothing but those and i only got those i didn't care the condition they weren't i only wanted those i wanted those for my full year sets for my store i want to always have those available for my customers oops that was my first time honestly buying benjis at a very large scale and i definitely paid quite a bit paying 20 dollars you know i bypassed the uncle sam because i bought such a large quantity of them at one time but honestly truthfully that's a, a lot to pay and so i am not able to sell these really the sets at the 40 dollars that i want to uh, so i have to assume a lower cost basis on that one i'm selling them if i want to move any units and i can also include them and carry over those savings to individuals by including them in, in packs like this so $250 actually is below our cost basis $275 is us making just a smidgen and then once those allocations of $275 packs are done for we'll keep this as probably a permanent product on the website until you know we no longer have some of these items available but the price the actual normal price will be 300 so we'll have this available even if you miss out on the flash sale or whatever you want to call it this week um, or this tiered flash sale we will have this lot of items that you see here as kind of like a beginner sampler sampler set um it will be available for around 300 bucks you know for the most part i mean that that may fluctuate depending on the market depending on you know if we have our cost basis changes one way or the other on any of these items but you can roughly expect that this lot of items uh while we have it available will be available for 300 bucks but it's going to start at 250. so if you're interested in that go ahead and head on to the website and grab as many units as you'd like and what i'm actually going to be doing now is i'm going to be heading over to whatnot and quite frankly truthfully i uh, am not entirely sure what i'm going to be doing over there i'm definitely going to be auctioning some stuff off generally the way my auctions go is i run a bunch of one dollar start auctions and truthfully i'm just haven't prepared very uh, much for this so i'm just gonna wing it i'm gonna wing it 
and we're just gonna see what happens uh, I'm probably gonna have these same items uh, laid out uh, during the auction and who knows maybe I'll just start each of these at a dollar and we'll just see what happens and so maybe you might be able to grab one of these for below spot price who knows um, I'm also thinking I might do like a mystery box sort of event so who knows if that ends up happening just be sure to stay tuned listen to the instructions and I hope you have a good time at the auction uh, moving forward things will be more structured and uh, you can expect to see uh, like we had these monthly specials we'll be running monthly specials and announcing monthly specials on a monthly basis but you can also expect that also be running some weekly specials as well so things will be shuffling so be sure to check back and we're always going to be having new additions always be checking back on the sbs exclusive section because there is a endless pit of awesome curated stuff that we're going to be adding to the website cheers and hope to see you on whatnot have a good one Ow, 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 ow,